Hi, I'm John with Orange Mod Works, and this is our Alpha Trooper Massacre Kit, the Rifleman. Let's take a look at what's included with this kit. All right, included with the Alpha Trooper Kit is a polycarbonate breech, plunger, bolt sled, six kilogram mainspring, O-ring, trigger catch springs, pin for the breech and bolt sled, a back plate, um, some Orange Mod Works stickers, silicone grease, a trigger catch, and a brief installation guide. Um, the back plate only drops in one way if you choose to use it. It's an optional piece really, so, uh, but if you choose to install it, be careful you don't force it into place. It should fall in um, pretty easily. Let's see, the breech is a high strength polycarbonate, but the tip here is a little more delicate than with other blasters. So, uh, you know, it's stronger than stock, but if you wrench it to either side, I mean, it could bend out of shape. So. Just um, be careful when you're installing, just remember that the nose of the Alpha Trooper breech is a little bit more delicate than with other, other blasters. Um, okay, so uh, let me show you how to get these pieces ready for installation. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your O-ring and install it on the breech, like that, and use the pointy end of the cap for your grease to puncture the seal so to open up the grease packet. Um, this one's already open, but yours will have a metal seal, so just puncture it with the cap. Then put a light coat of grease on the O-ring. And then apply more grease to the inside of the plunger tube, getting a nice even coating there. Um, you don't want to just put a lot on the O-ring because when you go to put the plunger on, uh, the excess will just get squeezed out and won't coat the inside of the plunger. Alright, that's that. And then take your bolt sled and hook the breech underneath and insert the pin. It shouldn't take a lot of pressure to get the pin in, so don't hammer it or anything. If Once you get about that far, you can just roll it on a table to get it the rest of the way in. It just needs to be flush. And, or you can use the tip of a screwdriver or something to push it in more. Okay, the next step is to attach this priming bar. Um, we don't have any stock Alpha Troopers and on all of ours we have reinforced this with epoxy putty and I really encourage you to do the same. Um, if you don't have epoxy where you don't want to mess with the stuff, you can use any hard drying glue like Gorilla Glue. You just fill in that cavity and put your um, priming bar in there and it keeps it in place. Now you'll notice that the priming bar bends quite a bit and under the heavier spring tension that flex is enough to prevent your plunger from locking back. So to minimize that I would also encourage you to fill in this area with a hard drying glue or clear epoxy. And, let, and sink that in and let it dry. Um, we've done this with all of our Alpha Troopers, which is why I don't have any stock pieces um, for you. Now, if you have not reinforced, oh, if you have reinforced your stock bolt sled, um, don't worry about trying to like break it out. Just go ahead and use your stock bolt sled, and if it breaks, then you can just, you know, tear off this piece and install it on your new bolt sled. So don't worry if you've already used a lot of glue on your stock parts, because I know a lot of people like to do that reinforcement. And next, now, if you don't want to put glue on your mask or bolt sled, um, just make sure you screw this down really tight to prevent as much um, up and down to prevent this type of motion. Because if there's any play in there, um, your plunger won't lock back. Now this screw, is made of aluminum and is very prone to stripping so be careful as you can see or maybe you can see I've stripped this one pretty bad so I won't be using it. Now if you strip that screw you can go get tiny metric washers from Ace Hardware or any hardware store. At Ace they have a section they have a whole section for like micro machine screws and those are great and so I got two washers I'm going to double them up and use a spare screw from another blaster. Now, uh, if you don't have spare screws lying around, you can also get um, screws that will fit from Ace in the micro screw section. 
and I'll go into detail about reinforcement of the Alpha Trooper just to make it more reliable in a troubleshooting video. But I know the Alpha Trooper is a popular um, HVZ blaster, and if you really want 100% reliability, I would encourage you to do some sort of reinforcement with your priming rod. Because while it'll work fine without reinforcement, it just gives you that extra peace of mind. And, oh yeah, okay. And see, there's no up and down um, wiggle besides the sled flexing, and no up and down wiggle this way. So that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and install this in a blaster and show you the velocity performance. Okay guys, I managed to find some stock internals for an Alpha Trooper, so I can show you stock Alpha Trooper uh, performance. Uh, not too bad for stock. Um, I'm always surprised with the good ranges from the Alpha Trooper, but next, let me put that masker kit in there and show you how that looks. All right, here is an Alpha Trooper with our masker kit installed. Same Alpha Trooper. And one more for good measure. All right, and that's pretty good example. Of the ranges are the uh, velocities. The Alpha Trooper is a lot more um, consistent than the other blaster, well, than the Raider, as far as blasters go that have the false barrel in the front. So, um, thanks for watching.